All over America, direct deposit problems caused by glitch at the Fed, as vital Fed payment system experiences the second delay of 2019. People could not get their paychecks for Christmas, direct deposits failing to clear, and transfer of money not completing. The Fed ACH services application began experiencing disruption on December 18 at 3.30 p.m. on Wednesday. Starting around 7 a.m., there was a surge of outages reported at Capital One. And so it begins. Lately, on a Friday, a few banks all over America have had problems, with customers unable to access their accounts. Bank of America, Capital One, and Fifth Third Bank. And now, today, Capital One has issues with direct deposits posting, and some also mentioned Chime, an online bank. Coincidence? Banks using deposits as collateral to cover a derivative coming due to roll it over? Remember, all the banks are the counterparty to one another. What's in your wallet? Well, in Capital One's case absolutely nothing. Capital One later tweeted saying, the Federal Reserve is experiencing network issues causing certain transactions to be delayed. We're monitoring the situation closely in partnership with the Fed. As soon as they've resolved the issue, we'll work to make sure all transactions are posted as quickly as possible. So the Fed can shut down the money or claim a hack or other excuse to cut Americans off from payments. Maybe they are illiquid and trying to meet some capital requirements for a particular deal. So they are accumulating collateral by freezing accounts payable. Or maybe they're just practicing for the upcoming event. Most of the Americans live payday to payday. How best to prevent a bank when you can leave the citizens with a bank account balance? First, come to the network issues, then come the bail-ins. A sort of TCP, IP 21st century version of a bank holiday. And just in time for Christmas. Welcome to the Atlantis Report. Direct deposits across America hang after Fed's ACH payment system suffers major disruption. Deposit problems, technical issues, network errors, and many other names are given to the fact that a bank is not able to hand out the money to their customers. These all are fairy tales. It seems that most, if not all, banks are bankrupt and waiting for more trillions of taxpayer money. First time in history, the banks will have the power to take a percentage of your deposit as you are a creditor. Something big is coming. Time to start a bank run. The Fed is testing its capability of preventing people from withdrawing money as a test runs for when there is a financial crisis. The member banks of the Fed are the Fed. So they're blaming themselves. Is this a new way for the Fed to generate GDP for the end of the year via fees? All I want to know is when the Fed decides to pull the plug. If you have cash in the bank, it might be a good idea to hit the ATM. Money in your account is not your money. It's just a claim against the bank on the money they don't have because they run fractional reserve. People are having problems with financial transactions direct deposit, causing bounced checks non-payment, especially with Capital One. But also with other banks as well. Anyways it turns out, the Federal Reserve has some problems technical difficulties according to the Federal Reserve and, in a statement, said the Fed ACH service, which processes transactions for commercial banks, is currently operating normally after experiencing delays and processing yesterday afternoon. With reports of direct deposits failing to clear still ongoing, Bloomberg reported that the Federal Reserve was investigating the second significant disruption in 2019 of a payment service administered by the U.S. Central Bank. Bloomberg News sought additional information about the outage under the Freedom of Information Act. Still, the request and subsequent appeal were denied by the Board of Governors, which is the Board of Governors of the Federal Reserve. Of course, so apparently they do not have to answer to anything under the Freedom of Information Act, we don't have to tell you anything, we are the Federal Reserve, we run the country, we run the world. Speculation that this is just a test of how the Fed plans to conduct universal basic income by making direct deposits into each American's bank account remains just that. Or maybe your paycheck is just taking a scenic tour through the S&P on its way to your bank account. Just be patient. This calls for a good old-fashioned bank run. Lots of people are told that the system is going to work, and now most jobs force you into it. So you expect it to work and design your life around it, because it's so easy. Yeah boy. They have the majority of people with this scheme, but we like our money now. Wait until it's no longer a glitch, and it's just all broken down. Oh my. 
The banks on Wall Street are not safe, they've got so much exposure in derivatives and who knows what else they're in danger of going down and taking depositors with them. Remember that as a depositor in a bank under the law, you are an unsecured creditor. What most people don't realize is that once you give a bank your money, the money is legally not anymore yours. Under the law, depositors are considered unsecured creditors to the bank and are treated as such under any bankruptcy proceeding. This type of loss happened with the collapse of MF Global. And while MF Global was a futures trading company and not a bank, the blueprint for confiscations was delivered here, the losses of customer funds were upheld by the legal system. Another important fact is that these speculative derivatives have super priority status in a bankruptcy proceeding, which means that any derivative contract holder gets paid first before shareholders creditors and depositors like you. People think that money is safe in the big banks because, and that the FDIC will protect the deposits. This presumption is not based on the facts. There are official government documents that describe the plans for confiscating deposits when not if a big bank fails. Individuals, together with public funds from municipal, university, county deposits, are at serious risk. Rest assured that your taxpayer money will disappear in the next crisis. Public officials in charge of taxpayer funds need to be aware of the dangers here. The loss of taxpayer funds and the inability to meet payrolls and obligations will certainly prompt a response that will both immediate and forceful. That's right. Remember, if it's in the bank, it's not your money, it's theirs. Just imagine yourself in one of these scenarios. You go shopping, and your credit card transaction is denied despite the fact you know you have money in your account. Or you go to an ATM machine, and you are informed that your withdrawal request has been denied. Or you're a public official such as a school business administrator, county treasurer, municipal finance manager, pensions fund administrator, or anyone that has responsibility for protecting public taxpayer funds. You're informed that all accounts have been frozen until further notice. As you investigate why you can't access the money you know should be available, you find out that the bank has failed, and has been closed till further notice by the FDIC. You also discover that the government will be confiscating part of your deposits in order to stabilize the bank. You believe that this can't happen because the FDIC protects your money. You may have placed your money in the bank because it has large vaults and is protected by the government. You may have put your money into a bank because they collateralize, and the government will back them, therefore, you think these funds are safe. All of these assumptions are false. Maybe you remember that in Cyprus, depositors' money was confiscated in order to stabilize the banks. Similar plans are already in place to do the same in the United States and other countries. In a nutshell, the banks in Cyprus were over-leveraged to the point that their liabilities exceeded their gross domestic product. Because the global bailouts of the banks in 2008 were so politically unpopular, a multinational investment banking and asset management firm, also known as a global banking troika that consisted of the International Monetary Fund, the European Central Bank, and the European Union, imposed a bail-in program, in which bank customers will have some of their savings taken in order to stabilize the banks. The losses to some clients in Cyprus were as high as 60%. In order to protect themselves, the Cyprus government closed the banks for 12 days, and people had limited access to their money. A long line formed at the ATM machines. The large global and Wall Street banks are the ones at the most risk because they've been gambling with depositor money on risky derivative bets and other speculative investments devised, which means that when not if these bets start going bad, the banks will be on the hook for these deficient values. This is your moment, a time to step up to the plate, look around at the environment and the financial players pitted against you, and to act prudently in the interest of your community. The era of blind trust in the institutions of global finance is over. There is now a critical choice to be made. Either leave your money in the hands of proven gamblers with the promise it will be confiscated when more bad deals go down or get your money out of the financial circuits and invest in tangible assets. At the very least you should pull your money out of your bank before it's too late. If you don't hold it, you don't own it. Let me be clear here. Every printed dollar and every central bank and every electronic credit transfer posing as money is causing massive starvation, homelessness, wars, and devaluation of wages. Not one part of it is good for civilization, ever. It's a trick. The sole purpose of it is to steal by being a central bank. All others are robbed, all others. You are being robbed. 
people should understand why it's important to hold physical assets because if all transactions were to go digital, it would give the bank's government unfettered control, giving them the power to take away everything you have in an instant and for any reason, an absolute dictatorship. Look at what happened to Venezuela's gold, which the Bank of England refused to return, i.e., outright stole. Do not leave your money in the hands of proven gamblers with a promise that it will be confiscated when more bad deals go down. If you don't hold it, you don't own it. Did anyone get noteworthy deposits on the any bank account? Time to start a bank run. I used to think a three-day closure of banking and or grocery stores would result in mayhem. I have decided to revise that number down to around three hours. People only seem to plan for the next five minutes. Best be getting that cash on hand, folks. The reset is closer than you want to imagine. The repo fiasco can't be fixed. What's in your wallet? A bunch of ones and zeros in a dead bank. This was the Atlantis Report. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.